Hello everyone, I am Stella, bringing you a simple yet perfect recipe that you can make in your own kitchen this summer. It is called pickled green mango or we say burong manga in Filipino. First off, let us pick some fresh mango from the mango tree in front of our home. As you can see, this mango tree has a lot of native mango fruit. So I decided to make a pickled green mango out of it. It is perfect to have it as a side dish for fried or grilled fish, chicken or pork chop, or even with steak. Picking up any fruit from the tree is so satisfying. This is the advantage of living in the rural areas where you can plant fruit trees and vegetables and you can harvest them for food. This is the season for mangoes to bear fruits. Yeah, but I have to jump high to reach this one. Phew! Exciting! I would uh, like to choose those bigger ones, though it seems that all of these are already matured. Comment down below if you are nearby our place. We are here at Masablang Paracelis, Mountain Province, so I can share you some of this. So, here are the mangoes that we are going to make into pickled mangoes. Let's get inside. I would like to weigh this to know how many kilos of green mangoes we are making. As you can see, it is 3.173 kilogram of green mangoes. So next, we need to peel this, but we have to wear gloves to avoid contact with the mango sap because it could be itchy.
This seems to be so sour and this is perfect for this recipe. Now let us uh, wash this well. I just wash this with flowing water and we have to dry it up using table napkins or kitchen towel to make sure that no water will be added on our pickles. It is very important to do this if you want your pickles to last long even for a month. Now, we are going to slice our mangoes into pieces, just like this one. The smell of this fresh mango makes my mouth drool with saliva. How about you? I'm sure you too, just by looking at it. This recipe is very simple, that you can make it in just 20 minutes, but you can store it for a month. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and click that notification bell so you will be notified on our next videos. You may also like and share and comment down below if you want more videos like this or if you have any suggestions.
So now it is time to add the ingredients. We need a generous amount of salt, any kind of salt, but rock salt is preferred. For 3 kilos, you can add 5 tablespoons, then you have to stir until the salt is dissolved. And then, you set aside, then prepare the garlic. Slice this into smaller pieces so that the aroma will blend with our mango. We just have to stir it together, then set aside. Next is our chili. You can use fresh chili, like this one, or the chili powder, whichever is available or whichever you prefer. Then, let us add the whole black pepper. You don't need the ground pepper. It should be whole. 
then stir it again. Now, we will add another important ingredient. It is the sugar. Any kind of sugar can do. But I do not have brown or white sugar. I have a muscovado. It is unrefined cane sugar with strong natural molasses content and flavor. This is a product of Besau Mountain Province given to us as a token during the Ubaya Festival. Thank you so much, Doc Joy of Besau RHU and Doc Dolores Dikdikan of Besau District Hospital. With the officers of LGU Besau Mountain Province, thank you for this Moscovado so I can make a delicious pickled green mangoes. Since this is unrefined, we need 2 cups of cane sugar, but for the granulated sugar, 3 cups is perfect for 3 kilos of green mangoes. All right, we are going to stir this gently and patiently until the sugar and salt are completely dissolved and all the ingredients are well incorporated. Then you will see the juice of the green mangoes being naturally extracted.
at this point, I just wanted to taste it. Mmm. The sugar neutralizes the sourness of the green mango and the saltiness of the salt with the kick of the chili and the aroma of the garlic and the black pepper. I can't resist a bite. Mmm, that is so crunchy. <laughs> Ooh, sarap. The more we stir this, the more that the juice is being extracted. So now, we will transfer this into clean glass jars to be fermented. Then, we can have it anytime. This is for my colleagues in the office. So, let's fill in jar number two. I am planning to go to the river tomorrow, so I will reserve this and bring it to the river to be paired with some grilled fish. Let's see, hopefully we will have a good weather tomorrow.
we still have some. And this is for the family members who would like to taste it. And for neighbors who also want to come, you are welcome. So those are natural juice extracted from the mango, no added vinegar or water. So there you go, we got 3 jars of pickled green mangoes from the 3 kilos of mangoes that we got from our front yard and let us just keep them in the fridge to be fermented. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!